Ladies and gentlemen, standing in at six foot two and weighing in at 183 pounds, competing for the great city of Hutchinson, Minnesota, make some noise for your host, Sam Ellison! Welcome to Late Night, everybody! Wow, we've got a hot show for you tonight, but to kick it off, let's get down to business. PLU, our university, tried to take the money of KPLU listeners who left money to the radio station in their wills, claiming that it was still owned by the university when the wills were written. So the money was technically theirs, which proves that even after we die, PLU will find a way to get our money. Speaking of which, earlier this month, PLU accidentally sent out emails to students saying that they owed the university thousands of dollars. The university then apologized and sent out an email that said uh, that email wasn't supposed to go out until after you died. Sorry. <laughs> Researchers believe they found a way to grow food out of people's poop for deep space travel, which means that astronauts will no longer have to shove their poop and get it sucked out into the vacuum of space and that I no longer want to be an astronaut. <laughs> like, you thought being poor and having to eat a different cup of ramen every day for dinner was bad? Try eating the same exact cup of ramen every day for dinner. <laughs> PLU cut their astronomy program, but apparently nobody told the commons that because they're still feeding, feeding us like we're astronauts. <laughs> Stumbled over my words there, my apologies. <clears throat> I'm collecting myself. The University of Washington's live dog mascot, Dubs, is retiring this year. Yeah, and the search for Dubs 2, the search for Dubs 2, though, has ensued. Uh, Dubs is retiring at 10 years old, or 70 in dog years, and they're spending some extra time looking for the new mascot, because if current economic trends continue, Dubs 2 is going to have to work until it's at least 15. <laughs> so Washington State will be fighting Jeff Sessions on legal marijuana a state fighting the federal government, it almost sounds like Washington has gone conservative. The Republican Party, which claims to be anti-government regulations and pro-state government, is now using the federal government to regulate decisions made by the state government. That seems very backwards, but everything must be backwards for Jeff Sessions because he appears to suffer from the Benjamin Button disease. <laughs> it's convincing, it's convincing. Hempler pepperoni was recalled in eastern Washington by the FSIS for reportedly having little chunks of meat in it. Or metal in it, not meat. Of course it has meat. I would hope it has meat. <laughs> metal. They fed the people metal. And then Hempler pepperoni was recalled again by Jeff Sessions for having the word hemp in it. Ah. <laughs> this is true. A recent study has shown that chemicals found in McDonald's fries may help cure baldness. And that may seem strange, but it makes sense. That's why McDonald's is always full of middle-aged balding men. <laughs> why buy Rogaine for $15 when you can eat chemicals for $1.99? Even, <laughs> even if scientists are wrong, eat a McDonald's fries every day and you'll die long before you go bald. According to Newsweek, President Trump has been eating a lot of McDonald's out of a fear of being poisoned. Yeah. And it sure looks like he could use it. Check this out. Imagine what his hair would look like if he didn't eat McDonald's. Spokane schools pulled Dairy Gold milk cartons after students found them filled with what appeared to be water and cleaning solution, which is a terrible thing to happen right after their Don't Eat Tide Pods assembly. <laughs> a school feeding children chemicals? That seems insane. I mean, where do these kids go to school? McDonald's? <laughs> Speaking of education, it appears that Betsy DeVos has been working with Donald Trump on some new numbers. And apparently she must have challenged him to say every single number he knows at the State of the Union address. Check this out. 
Less than one, one, two, three and a half, seven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, twenty, twenty-one, thirty-five, forty-five, almost sixty, one hundred, one hundred and seventy-four, two hundred and twenty, four hundred, one thousand, five hundred, four thousand, twenty thousand, twenty-four thousand, fifty thousand, sixty-four thousand, two hundred thousand, thousands and thousands and thousands. One point eight million, two point four million, twenty billion, fifty billion, three hundred and fifty billion, one point five trillion, eight trillion, unlimited numbers. Unlimited numbers. I thought he was going to miss one or two, but he covered. He covered with that last one. According to the Tacoma News Tribune, an article titled London Calling is saying that the Seahawks will play in England for the first time in 2018. Are there Seahawks fans in here? Yeah. Of course, of course. I'm a Vikings fan myself, but... <clears throat> yes. Oh, thank you, one person. Uh, so the Seahawks will be playing in England for the first time, uh, and the Seahawks will be playing at a soccer stadium, but they won't be playing soccer. However, maybe they should. That way we can actually watch a U.S. men's team play internationally. <laughs> however, however, if the Seahawks did actually play soccer, they probably wouldn't even play their kicker. <laughs> I know you wouldn't like me for that one, but we have a great show for you tonight. We have Lewis and Noreen Hobson, and we have phenomenal Will Jordan. You're going to want to hear this guy. We'll be right back after this.